Hey guys, Rick at Healing Field Farm. And uh, winter has arrived here on the farm. Uh, this is the first winter for all of our animals. And they seem to be acclimating pretty well. Uh, we did get a few inches of snow over the weekend. So today's actually been the warmest day and uh, it's starting to melt a little bit, drip off the roof up there. But uh, sun today, rain tomorrow. The goats have actually, this is the first day we've let them out of the barn in a few days. So they're, uh, they threw some straw down and laying in their hay, of course, because they waste it. But, hello guys, hello, hello. I'll get you some water, so hey. That is definitely the, uh, the biggest challenge, of course, in the winter is uh, all their water freezing consistently throughout the day. But I'm gonna keep up on it. But the cows do a pretty good job breaking through. So, hey, hello. How you doing, Johnny? Hello. Hey. So we've been given the cows round bales and we gave them the first one almost two weeks ago about a week and a half and they're smaller round bales than the normal ones uh, they're, they're only like equivalent to about 12 bales of hay but we did it that way because it's easier for me to I can just flip them and roll them and get them in there and uh, for the two cows it lasts them about two weeks so that's actually pretty decent I think so, hey, sorry, didn't mean to spook you. Didn't mean to spook you. So, then you can see what, what's left of it. And they're pretty much just laying it during the day. But chickens have not really wanted to venture out. Some of them have. But there's a couple in there chilling. But they're, uh, the guinea hens disappeared. They didn't come home at all yesterday. And then uh, they come back this morning and they're chilling at the barn. I think they're trying to find themselves a nice warm spot to roost. But they're in the barn there right now. <clears throat> Hanging out with some chickens. And we got a few baby bunnies running around. There's a little white one over there. I don't know if you can see them. So. Luke Skyhopper and our black bunny had a litter um, underneath the wall of the barn. And then one day all these baby bunnies just started popping out. So we've caught four of them. Uh, there's still three to catch, but they are quick and uh, they uh, really fast, really hard to catch. So well, we borrowed our neighbor's net to help catch, catch them. But Sarah's actually caught three by hand uh, versus my one to the net. Watch that fence. Hi. Hi, Johnny. Hi. They didn't really know what to think of the snow when it first came. They didn't want no part of it. They stayed in the barn the entire time. But they're getting used to it now. Hi, Johnny. Hi. But they're good. And the goats are adjusting. And, uh, yeah, having a good time. They've been bellowing and bellowing in that barn. They just wanted to get out, but I don't blame them. But it's a much nicer day today, and uh, they'll be able to enjoy some fresh air. And I guess it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so it depends on how bad we'll get them out again. But we just put them in at night mostly. Hello, guineas. Hello, guineas. But yeah, so they're adjusting. Winter is here and the struggle of frozen water all day has arrived. But uh, we're actually going to get them a new bowl and a heater and see if that helps. And for the most part, their water doesn't freeze that bad in the barn. So it's a. Uh, oh, you want a chin rub? Hmm? That's what you want, the chin rub, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Junie. Hey, Junie. We'll get you guys some fresh water. 
and uh but yeah so i mean it's winter it is what it is and it's beautiful up here this time of year cold but beautiful and uh we'll have our fill of snow for the next four months i'm sure but looking forward to spring already but gives us a lot of time to plan work on some smaller projects uh, we're going to be trying to finish off the house and we actually have someone coming to hook up our uh, cook stove propane cook stove uh, first part of next week and we've been in the house without a stove for over a year we've been using every other thing you can imagine to cook with like crock pots and instapot and air fryers and just uh, plug-in burners and all that so really looking forward to having that we picked up the propane tank this morning for it actually and then uh he'll come and he'll hook it up it shouldn't take him too long and then uh sarah will be happy she can bake again and, and cook so that'll make her day but and then yeah we're going to be working on the house a lot this winter getting the flooring done and some trim stuff like that but some warmer days we'll try to get some outdoor projects we want to get a new greenhouse built um, for down the garden area and then uh, gonna build a tool shed for all the garden tools little little garden tool shed and we'll do some more work on the barn and stuff like that but on the warmer days and when there isn't four feet of snow so it's not bad right now but we'll get bigger storms and from experience we get them kind of back to back so you know, two foot storm and a two foot storm and a two foot storm and then you kind of snowed in for a bit but but uh that's winter that's maine and we love it so but that's what's going on today guys i just wanted to share the share the snow with you and uh the beauty of it and show you how the animals were adapting so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time have a good day